What's up, YouTube? This is Kenny from E Rock Detailing. Just want to show you guys some of the equipment that I have. We're going to start off with this right here. We're going to get right to the nitty gritty. This right here, the Aqua Pro Vac. This is my baby right here. Extractor, of course. Uh, here's some of the specs right here you can see. Um, I really love this machine. It's compact. A lot of people have an issue with the front wheels, the way it swivels if you're on flat service. But what I do is I just put it up against the door and it doesn't move. Uh, and also right here we have the McCullough's, the steamer. This is the 1275. Um, as you see, I have, have it hanging right here from there so it doesn't really drag over across the ground. It's in my garage. Um, and that's a little, nice little machine. Nice little powerful machine. It does its job. But everybody should have at least these two machines right here. These two machines right here in combination are great. You can also get, they have like the Mighty 1375 uh, hot water extractor has the, but what I do is I just pour hot tap water in there and it works pretty well. Uh, here I have my Greenworks 1800 PSI power washer. Um, Actually I had 1600 watt, I mean 1600 PSI, but I backed over that <laughs> and you know, basically crushed it. So uh, that's gone. So I had to go get this about a month ago and I've been dealing with this and it's pretty good. You know, it's just power wash. Um, here I have my rigid, rigid 6.5 vacuum. Uh, since I'm not mobile, I mean, this is pretty much one of the most powerful vacuums you're gonna get as far as, you know, something I can just move around you know, that's portable. And I can also take it with me if I, if I have a, a detail where I had to leave. And take it with me, put it in the car, and ride with it. Here I have all my stuff hanging up over here. Of course, I take off, uh, I have uh, the quick connect from my power washer. So I disconnect everything off of there. No extension cords hanging. The leaf blower, of course. It's a leaf blower. I actually, I actually bought it for leaf, but you know you can use it to dry your car off too. It's not really powerful, so I really don't use it. I just go by hand, use my towel. Uh, here's some of the chemicals that I use. Um, I'm a big fan of this right here. As you see, I did a, a, a review on, my, on my, one of the. Excuse me, sorry. I did a review on one of my videos about this stuff. This stuff is very good. Um, this is good also, but I'll take this. I prefer this. I love Meguiar's. I'm a big fan of Meguiar's. Uh, Meguiar's is like my go-to for everything. But lately, I've been really heavy on the chemical guys. Not nothing to give Meguiar's, but you know, I like to try other things. Uh, this right here, this stuff right here is key. I also did a review on this also. This stuff is key. As you see, I have a few bottles. Um, here's another thing too that that is actually great on tires. Uh, I use this on a, little, a lot of low profile tires so that way I don't have a lot of splatter all on the rim. Uh, this is the endurance gel, the Meguiar's endurance gel. It's good, it's a good gel, it's a good gel. I use it on low profile tires with custom rims. Uh, here's all my waxes, of course. I told y'all I'm a big fan of Meguiar's. Here's another wax too that really doesn't get too much play anymore. It did when it first came out. But this right here, the fast finish. Um, I used this on one of my cars before. I think it was a black Challenger. It was a black Challenger. And boy, oh boy, it brought out the shine in that. Of course, I have, you know, you got to have your window cleaners. I use a lot of aerosol window cleaners. Uh, the, 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 you know, the, the stuff with all the money and all that. To me, I find that it it streaks a lot. So I choose not to use it. Uh, I have this. I just have it. I, I've had it for a while now and I just have it. I don't use it anymore. You know, now since I have the extractor, I really don't use it. 
And it's really pointless to have this anymore. Not knocking it, not knocking it, not by far, but as long as you have a good degreaser, a drill for drill brush, you really don't need this. But it's good though, it's good to have, if, especially if you're a beginner. And I've had it in here for a while, so it's gonna be here. Also, this is like my, my also, one of my go-tos also. Uh, well, not as of lately, but it's been one of my go-tos. I've really been hand polishing and waxing and everything. Well, I'm sorry, not hand polishing, but using the machine to polish and the wax. This is more so useful, like when I wash my car, I use this as like something, you know, just the insurance. Even though my car is waxed, I still use it as insurance. Uh, here we have the quick water. I told you I'm a big fan of Meguiar's. Uh, 3D speed is clutch. It's clutch. That's clutch. You must have 3D speed. I'm letting you know now. Have that in your arsenal. Especially if you're a professional detailer and you like the, the, the way that... Just try it for yourself. It comes off so smooth. You... You put it on with the machine, you do it with the machine, you know, and when you go to wipe it off, it comes right off. Of course, then, you know, more Meguiar's back there, but I have the Griots, the Griots Complete Compound. That's also a good compound also. Um, I use that maybe about three or four times, and it's another one that comes right off. It's real smooth, and well, Meguiar's does too, but... I've never dealt with one that come off, that comes off, wipes off, excuse me, as smooth as that 3D speed. Big shout out to 3M for that one. That was, that was clutch right there. Uh, here, I have my super clean in the back. The chemical guys, high shine, purple power. Uh, and this is something else I love. Actually, I just commented on Chemical guys page about this. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. This stuff is great. If you get a chance, go on Chemical Guys site, check it out, and order you some. Uh, here I have the black gloves, and I actually have one of these right here. This is what I actually put the Chemical Guys high shiner because you can also use that on the interior and the tires. So. It's clutch. This right here, that's been there. I've had this for at least about four or five years. And it's just been sitting there. Uh, of course, I also have foam cannon like anyone else. A lot of detailers, you know, we all have those. Uh, that's actually one off of Amazon. I got that for $15 off of Amazon. Of course, and I've got a, lot of, got a lot of air freshers. This is actually one of my favorites right here. Summer Linen. Try it out if you get a chance. Uh, of course, you know, the bottles and the greasers and the final touches. And this is the chemical glass tire shine right here. I actually filled this up probably about, I want to say two to one. I filled the rest with water. It's pretty thick. You spray it on the tire. You only got to spray it on the tire. Go around once, spray it on the tire. The tire shined. And here's the... The buffers that I use. Well, the DAs and then the variables. Uh, this is my Makita right here. Uh, that one right there is an eight millimeter uh, Chicago electric from Harbor Freight. It's good though. Don't don't doubt that one. Don't doubt that one just because I said it's Harbor Freight. And there we have my drill. I don't use wireless drills. I use a plug-in drill. You know, don't have to worry about charging. And then you also see the brush on there that's for upholstery. And, um, well, that's really about it right now, folks. Oh, I'm sorry. And my, all the pads. A lot of those pads in there or eBay or the eBay pads. Nah, don't even use them no more. I just got them up there just to have them. Uh, here's all my brushes. And this is, this is a very, another clutch one. Boar's head wheel brush. Yes, it keeps, it gets the wheels clean, all behind the wheel. Um, oh, and here's something else. I never used it. I'm actually giving it away. The Tornado. This is actually the Chinese version, but I don't use it, never used it, but oh well. Uh, and let me see, is there anything else? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and pads. These are the pads that I do use. I kind of, I, I really like these. The Americanas, Americana Globals. I just washed them, that's why they look like that. Cause I used them yesterday. Uh, then, of course, I told you, I love Meguiar's. The Meguiar's six inch microfiber cutting pad. Told you, I like Meguiar's, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, and that's about it. That's about all my, all of my stuff that I have here for now. Uh, I'm ordering the, the Max Shine 21 millimeter, the Axe of the Arsenal. I'm going to turn this Harbor Freight into a three inch polisher. And that's about it, man. For any beginner, you know, any beginner can really use any of these products up here. But, you know, it's all about what you're comfortable with and what you like. Me, I just like to try things. I've been buying things lately, just trying it to see how I like it. Yeah, that's about it. Next video coming next week. Rapid, you know, do my rapid videos. All right, see you guys later.